What's going on guys? I'm your coach to the Portland Trail Blazikins bringing you our final regular season team builder being week 11 versus uh, Jungle Cat or Piplup coach of the New York Piplups. <laughs> so he's 3-7 and seven, um, and I think, I don't remember if he has a shot at playoffs or not. Um, if we look at the standings, he's right there. Technically, he does. Okay. So, just to kind of, to be transparent, this battle doesn't mean anything for me, really, because I'm going to assume Dark wins his battle, since he's 9-1, which means I'll never pass him. And then, I'm in second place right now, so if I lose and Zex wins... We switch places, he'd go second and third. And if you look at the playoff bracket, this will be dark because he's first in our conference in total. This is going to be Zex because he's first in the other division of our conference. And then this will be me in East 3, whether I win or lose. So the only things that can really change is if Dark loses and I win by a lot, then we switch places. Dark would go here. And obviously it says East 3, and I'm in 2nd, but like, it doesn't really matter because Zex gets this spot. Um, so yeah, this battle doesn't really mean a whole lot for me, record or uh, like win or lose. However, it does have some implications for the kill leader, <laughs> um, but we'll kind of get into that. So Piplup's team, Ladias, Toxapex, Politoed, Umbreon, Virizion, Regirock, Hitmonchan, Mega Kangaskhan, Nidoqueen, Sigalyph, Clefkeen, Dedene, with the Z captains being Ladias, Virizion, and now Toxapex. He <laughs> just made that change. Um, so Ladias is obviously, it can be a scary mon. Um, a lot of times it's either a Calminder Trick, though. Or a Calminder Scarf with Trick. Mega Kangaskhan, probably one of his more dangerous mons with like Power Up Punch on Parental Bond. And I'm not the fastest um, team in the world, so he actually outspeeds a good amount of my, of my team. And then Needle Queen's obviously always good. Virizion always has potential to sweep if you get like either Calm Minds or Swords Dances up, so I have to be careful about that. But yeah, so a, a pretty solid team in general. And here's the, <laughs> here's the kicker. Like I said, this battle doesn't mean much for me record-wise, and so I'm going to try to get as many kills as possible with Nido King. If I can get all of them, I'm doing it. The issue is this team is not Nido King weak in the slightest. <laughs> so I had to get a little creative. Um, so anyway, is the team that I'm bringing, we've got a leading a Zelf. And this time I should actually lead it, unlike last week where I then completely changed my game plan but we have rocks it's actually the same moveset rocks psychic dazzling gleamy you turn with fairy mz that's to so psychic house with toxapex dazzling gleam house with ladias but more importantly umbreon and so that's what that z fairy is for and then outspeeds his team uh oh shoot we won't look at that <laughs> um yeah outspeeds everything yeah, it outspeeds his whole team because one tenth is fastest with Ladias. And yeah, that's it. Outspeeds Ladias plus. Is that, yeah. And then just some HP investment. So there's our Azelf. Uh, we'll, we'll actually look at Needle King last. So we've got U turn on Azelf. And then Silvali, Tailwind, Parting Shot, Multi Attack, Ice Fang, just kind of coverage. I actually have to look if multi attacks even worth running because honestly it's probably not. Uh, considering his team is not poison weak, can't touch Pex then. Poison, poison, poison works. Ice Fang can't touch. Poison works, works. Ice Fang, Ice Fang can't touch. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst actually coverage wise. We'll look though. Maybe. Because I'd like an electric type move if I could go like just bolt beam might be smarter anyway. Can it? We'll do bolt beam for now. Okay. But anyway, tailwind parting shot and then bolt beam. 
Mostly to just get some parting shots off, getting into Needle King, and then Tailwind in case that might help me late game. Um, maybe Needle King is, or Mega Kangaskhan is going to be so chipped that just outspeeding with Needle King will let it uh, bop it. We'll see. So we have parting shot on Silvali, U turn on the Zelf. Uh, we have a Spadef wished passing uh, Komala. We've got U turn as well on this guy, so that gives us our third pivot. Yeah, Wish Protect, U-Turn Return. Pretty self-explanatory. It's just mostly there for the Wish Passing. Getting us into our physical wall, which is Rocky Helmet Slowbro with Psychic Scald, Slack Off, and Toxic. This should outpace Kangaskhan for the most part. Maybe not if it's a uh, Pup with Crunch. That's about it, though. Um, I don't know if he's going to run EQ on Kangaskhan. He, he might because of Mawile, but... If not, the Silvali poison's nice. I I only really did that so he can kind of stay in against both Pex and Umbreon. And then kind of pivot around there. It's just a good switch in. Um, and actually being, this negative's good for foul play on Umbreon. I blocked that, so that's cool. And then yeah, so Komala's just push passing. Rocky Helmet for defensive. And then we have Choice Scarf High Dragon with U-Turn Outrage Crunch and Defog. I just want Defog support, because why not? But besides that, another U-Turner giving me a total of four U-Turn Mons to hopefully get into Needle King to put in some damage, and then Outrage for everything besides what? I don't know if Crunch is useful. Well, yeah, Outrage is good. I mean, Toxpex will always wall, and so will Umbreon, Palitoad. Outrage, 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 outrage. But then he has two fairies in Klefki and Deden. Dedenne. And... What could I do to replace... It gets Earthquake? What? I didn't know that. Um... I think we're going to run Earthquake. It gets Head Smash, too. Hello? Um, or Super Power. I mean, Super Power is not very useful. I think I go Earthquake, actually. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do EQ. Because Crunch is not useful. It's only there for Sigalyph, I guess. So, not that important. And then finally we get into Needle King being this monster with Home Claws, Earthquake, Mega Horn, and Sucker Punch with Life Orb and Poison Point. So as you can see, none of these moves actually get boosted by um by Sheer Force, because Earthquake doesn't have any effect. And I'm not gonna run. I think Drill One Drill Run is No, Drill Run doesn't boost it either. What's the one that boosts it? Or does it? No, not Trail Run. I feel like he gets a ground type move that is boosted. Oh, hello. That's spelling. Oh, I think Bulldoze. But Bulldoze is only base 60, so there's no way. Like, I, let's see. We're going to find out right now. I know you probably all know already. but So we look at uh, Earthquake. Bulldoze. Drill run, nope, drill run, and stomping tantrum. Put 252 in. I know that doesn't really matter. But yeah, Earthquake does the most, by far. 39%. Um, all the others don't get strong enough, even with the Shear Force and the Life Orb. So pretty much all that means is I can... Uh, just not run uh, Shoe Force. So maybe I'll get a Rogue Poison on like a Verizion when it, because I can live a hit from Verizion and stuff like that. If I can get a Home Claws up, Mega Horn doesn't miss. Um, this takes on his entire team, barring uh, Magnet Rise, Clef Key. So there's that. <laughs> Magnet Rise, Clef Key could be actually annoying. But there's nothing I can really do about it. Because I don't think. I mean. 
I don't think I want to run Iron Tail. And Steel Wing probably doesn't do enough. I'll look at it, but... Because I am... Uh, scarfed. Or I'm max attack. Let's see what we got. Uh, and the reason I go physical Hydreigon is... Well, Outrage is more spammable than Draco Meteor. Um, as well as the fact that Latias is faster than Hydreigon and Calm Mines. And so if I Choice Scarf, Outrage outspeeds it and can still do enough. So that's great. Um, what were the moves? Steel Wing is the other one. Yeah. Steel Wing versus... Klofki. Klofki, Klofki. Yeah, so it looks like... Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> it looks like I would be better off hitting it with a fire blast than completely uninvested than an iron tail. And I'm assuming Earthquake does... A good chunk. Yeah. So if it's not Magnetize, we're good. And Magnetize only lasts... I mean, it doesn't matter because it can Prankster get it back up. So that's why we're kind of looking at uh, Superpower for Needle King. However, uh, Superpower lowers the attack and defense, and so that's easier to revenge. So we're not going to do that. But for now, this is the team. Um, well, you know, hopefully it works. Hope you guys enjoy and keep a lookout for the battle to come. Hopefully Needle King can uh, put in some work. I'll see you guys later.